Hey buddy and welcome. So I want to talk about this. This is the LG G7. There's a few things that are rather just confusing about it. First of all, you have to, to fix a screen issue where if you're scrolling with the phone screen, you'll notice a little stutter and lag like the frame rates just went and then they come back and then they go and they come back and they go the only way to fix that is basically go into developer settings by enabling that where you have to click the build number and about for eight times then you go into developer settings go down to disable HW GPU which basically forces the GPU to work the screen itself in normal attributes to make it smooth because whatever software or CPU processing performance is just freaked in this. And it's not because the background processes or um, because it's the memory is full. I always keep my processes and shut down and I've had over more than a memory of gigabyte plus available to run anything. And it, yeah. So if anybody else has experienced that, that's what you have to do to fix that issue. Here's another thing. If you have the T-Mobile or maybe AT&T, you're probably not screwed. But if you have like Verizon, Sprint, or even the unlocked version, you're fricked. Literally. Because supposedly, LG doesn't know if they'll ever get Android 10 for this phone. Yeah, it's stuck on Android 9. Pi. So Android 10, who knows if it'll get for the unlock or Sprint or Verizon ability for its OS. Because LG is just like, yeah. And another kicker is this phone fully updated. The last update was March 11th, 2021. The security update, though, is from February 1st, 2020. Yeah. And you can't update that because it's supposed to be updated with the standard update of the update system. So, the security update is literally over a year old. So, unless their super security system is like the obese of power awesomeness, what in the freaking heck are they thinking? A year and more than a year old of security updates? Really? Whoa! And here's another kicker. So I contacted them, asking about when the update for the OS would be coming. First person, I don't know. They leave chat like, there's some hot, cool dude. It's like, I don't even, I just, they tell me that and then they're just like, well, if you have anything else, you can contact them, blah, blah, blah. Boop! I'm like, well, okay, moron. Bye. <laughs> Second person I talked to, a few days later, asked him the same thing. Plus, I asked him about the security update issue. Although, I kind of forgot about this after we started talking about the first thing of the OS. And she's all telling me, oh, well, I would need a... Well, I don't know. Um, a different company does this... Uh, does the development and such forth for our phones. Hold up. LG builds their phones but doesn't develop their own system? They give to they give their phones to a random company that develops it, then they take it back and they go, oh okay, here you guys go. And supposedly if I wanted to get an answer from that supposed company, I would need to give them my phone's ID, I mean I-M-E-I number to LG, and LG tells them my number and my comment, and that supposed company would be able to contact LG back from that number, and then LG contacts me back from that. Because LG has no clue what's going on. 
Can I contact them myself? Oh yeah, you can call them. Yeah, I can call them. Um, maybe an email? Oh no, their email is private. It's only for the company. But I'm supposed to give them my my personal I M E I number to you guys, and you guys give my personal number to them for contacting them. Really? Does that make any freaking sense? I was so annoyed after that. I was like, boop. I forgot about actually asking about the security update. <laughs> that I was also going to try and talk about. But I guess they wouldn't really know either because it's like, oh, yeah, we don't even digitalize our phones. So it's like, oh. Wow. I mean, holy cow. I, I, I get that the phone is uh, made in 2018. And um, you got Android Pie on it. But I mean, you guys supposedly were going to get to Android uh, 10. And we're already moving to Android 11. So uh, 10 not even coming for this phone. Even though supposedly you guys give two uh, OS major updates. So it's like... And I would expect that, um, you know, the security updates would be, like, a little bit more higher than what their standard OS updates things would be. But, like, seriously, a year old? Holy moly. What? What? And here's another kicker. For people that aren't just on the G7... The G8 is likely not going to get Android 11. Yeah. And I'm not just saying the entire G8 family. Just the G8. The GX8 and the G8S will likely get it. But the normal G8? Nah. Screw that. Yeah. Wow. Man. I guess people were right. LG is pretty freaking head. They'll just sell you the device and let their random company spank your butt. That's it. Holy moly. It's amazing. Wow. Incredible. But hey, at least the people on the mid-range front is getting it like that. <laughs> because the LG Velvet 5G and uh, the Wing and the V60, you guys are all good. You'll be getting it Android 11 go beyond flying. Everybody else is probably going to be lacking and getting their butt spanked. Because LG just doesn't care what their company does. They're just producing the phone and letting a random company just... <whistles> Goodbye phone. But then again, I guess not a lot of people will be going with LG anymore. Considering the fact that Moreau is now kicking their butts with... Uh, Oh, we got a Samsung Dex thing going now. Your built-in crappy desktop mode is like... Motorola is going to have it going good for the next couple of years. Anyways, peace guys. Stay cool. And, I don't know, go beat the living style of somebody. Who knows? <laughs> Not really.